So typically what I would do with a service coordinator when you have a triage role is number one, they're still gonna dispatch professional services. So any of your billable work still needs a dispatcher or a project manager or some of both. Even in companies that have dedicated project management, uh, a dedicated person to do project management for your professional services, there's still an element of, of kind of managing the resources that are doing that professional services work, you know, and dealing with those kind of billable tickets. So that's going to be some piece of their job. Another piece of their job is going to be dealing with the exceptions. So that shift, if you want scalability, you're going to shift from having, having a person touch every ticket to having that coordinator deal with the exceptions. And there's going to be an exceptions, you know, every day. There's going to be some issue that a technician needs help with or, you know, they, there's, there's some problem and your process can't handle that. And so you're always going to have that person needing to do that. Training, making sure that the employees are, you know, following the process, checking in on the tickets to make sure they're being filled out right, you know, working with the technicians to ensure that they're correcting those things. So much more of, I guess, a management role than a puppeteer, I guess. That's, that's really what they are when they're juggling all those tickets all day. They're really just kind of a puppeteer trying to make those tickets go to the, to the right person. This really, you're going to escalate them to much more of a manager type of a person that's, you know, doing training, working with the employees, making sure the tickets are being done correctly, reviewing the tickets after they're completed, you know, spot checking those, particularly with employees that aren't following the process as well. So hiring, you know, interviewing, those kinds of things. So it really is, you know, if you're in a four or five million dollar MSP. I mean, it really is a, a full-time job to do all that. And that's okay. when I mentioned at the very beginning, you know, as you grow, you've got to kind of reinvent people. I mean, that's, that's one of those areas. I don't know what your size is now, but that's one of those areas where you've got to reinvent that in order to, to get to that next level.